My name is Derek Foster, and I'm a consultant with Red Hat Consulting. And I'm Crystal Yang, also a consultant with Red Hat Consulting. And on today's whiteboarding video, we're going to show you how to move your existing Java EE application on JBoss EAP to running a containerized version on OpenShift. So Derek, I have an existing application on e JBoss EAP, but I want to modernize it by moving it to the cloud. I've heard that Red Hat OpenShift is a great solution offering load balancing, horizontal scaling, and great CI CD support, but we don't have time to redevelop it for OpenShift. Is there a way to use our existing application and app server on OpenShift? Yeah, there is. OpenShift actually makes it very easy to quickly spin up a development environment. Part of the beauty of OpenShift is that everything runs on a container, and we're able to run images onto those containers. This feature of OpenShift is known as S2I, or source to image. Red Hat, Red Hat offers containerized images of EAP6 and EAP7. So you're able to grab one of those images and on your master node with a few commands have an OpenShift instance with EAP up and running and good to go. Now instead of running the commands directly, you can use what's known as a build in OpenShift. You can do this from the web UI on the OpenShift console and it takes away the need for knowing any exact commands. The first step of this process is to set up a template, which is essentially just a build outline. It can include processes like building your war or your ear, deploying that war onto your app server, which in our case is EAP, and p packaging that onto an image and deploying it onto a pod in OpenShift. Okay, cool, that sounds pretty straightforward. But I do know there's gonna be some common changes to make it suitable for OpenShift. Some of those include updating Log4j to standard out instead of to a file, creating some health endpoints, and configuring clustering. But I'm definitely gonna be using Red Hat Application Migration Toolkit to check for cloud readiness. It analyzes the application and generates a report identifying some migration issues and potential solutions. But let's say that my app is cloud ready and we have a CI process in place and we don't want to rebuild it inside of OpenShift. I know that we can do this via the OC command line tool on the Jenkins server, but is there a more elegant solution? Yeah, we actually come across this use case a lot. There's one of two ways you can go about setting up a CI CD process like Jenkins in OpenShift. The first would be to interact directly with OpenShift via the REST APIs. The second would be to set up the Jenkins plugin with OpenShift, and the Jenkins plugin makes it very quick and very easy to set up a CI-CD pipeline within OpenShift. That definitely meets my CI-CD needs, but could you talk to me a little bit about the load balancing and horizontal scaling benefits of OpenShift? Yeah, so the two go hand in hand very nicely in OpenShift. Um, OpenShift, for load balancing, if you have a lot of traffic coming in, OpenShift leverages the different pods it's running and uh, diverge traffic to those pods running the same containers. Um, do you remember the build template I talked about earlier? Yeah, it describes how the application's built and the app server, right? Yeah, so once the template is run, the image, an image is produced and we're able to store it into OpenShift's internal registry. From there, we can grab that image whenever we need to quickly scale, scale up a pod to meet needs. Besides those benefits, do you want to hear another benefit of OpenShift, one that I think is very big and very scary to tackle? Sure, tell me. Have you or anyone you've ever known broken production due to pushing code that didn't belong in that environment? Well, OpenShift ensures this doesn't happen by allowing developers to spin up pods to identical to production. Therefore, there are no environmental issues. That is an amazing feature. I can't ever imagine breaking production. Right? Well, anyways, Crystal, I hope you learned a little bit about OpenShift and migrating to it from EAP and all of its benefits. And if you're looking to migrate your existing EAP application to OpenShift, reach out to your Red Hat account executive or head over to redhat.com services to learn more about our training consulting services.